My name is Robert. I'm the manager of the mortgage sales department in an international bank. A bank that focuses on providing sustainable financial products to consumers. In the near future, new competitors are entering the mortgages market. And we expect them to focus on speed. They promise to answer customers within one week. Therefore, we need to serve our customers faster while maintaining the high quality that our bank delivers. To investigate our process, I've asked Anna, our process mining expert, for assistance. Hi Anna. Hi Robert, what's new at the mortgage department? Thank you for asking. I think we could use your help with a potential problem. New entrants to the markets might be faster in handling mortgage applications. So we were hoping that you could use your process mining expertise to help us to find out where the most time is spent in the process. This is an interesting problem. Let's see what we can do. First of all, I need some more information about the process itself. The general procedure in the application process is as follows. As soon as the application is received, it is checked for completeness. If all is well, an assessment is made and the customer is automatically notified of the result. Before I can start with the analysis, we need to collect execution data from information systems that supports the application process. I will convert this information into an event log that we can use for the analysis. No problem, I have data up to half a year back. For this analysis, we will use the PROM framework. PROM is a process mining toolkit that offers various process analysis tools. We first import the event log into PROM using the import button. What analysis techniques are you going to use? If you click on the triangle in the middle of the menu bar, we get a list of plugins that are available in the PROM framework. Your question relates to the performance of the process. I suggest we use the inductive visual miner. The inductive visual miner first discovers a model of the underlying mortgage application process as supported by the data you've collected. Second, it will project performance information on the discovered model. We will apply the inductive visual miner to our event log. What do we see here on the screen? This is the model that was discovered by the inductive visual miner. All right. So what I see now is a model of my process? Indeed. According to the model, each application starts at the green circle and walks over the arrows to the red circle. And each of these boxes represent an activity. The diamond with the plus in it means that the case should execute all the three activities registered, approved and activated concurrently. What do the numbers mean then? The numbers that are shown now with each arc and activity are the frequencies with which it was executed according to the model. For example, in over 2,200 times an application was approved. Good that you mentioned the approval. As required by internal regulations, no application may be approved without being finalized. Is there a way to check compliance to that regulation? Sure, there is a way to verify that in inductive visual miner. However, the model is an approximation of reality, so we should have a look at the deviations before we draw any conclusions. If I enable the deviations, they are shown with red dashed arcs. So, with these deviations, we see the complete process? Indeed, then we see everything that happened. You mentioned the rule states that each application which is approved should have been finalized before. To verify this, we click on the approved activity. Now Inductive Visual Miner will adjust the frequencies on the nodes to the applications that were approved. We can see that all applications that were approved were also finalized. Perfect. So the department complies with the regulation. Back to the question about process performance. Is there also a way in Inductive Visual Miner to see where the most time is spent for these applications? 
Sure, and there are multiple ways to see where the most time is spent. One of them is to visualize the sojourn time of activities. Now the activities denote how long execution took on average. If we zoom in on the first half of the process, we see that the longest activity is the acceptance, which takes on average around 14 hours. Given that this includes nights, weekends and holidays, this is hardly surprising to me. Well, let's look at the right part of the process then. Here we see between finalization and acceptance, on average, almost 21 days are spent. This could be the reason why applications take so much time. Is this part of the process also the part that most customers are waiting for? To visualize that, let's enable the animation. Now each yellow dot walking from the left to right is an application. So, we see that also the most customers are waiting in the last part of the process. I think it would be a good idea to focus our attention on the approval process. However, the steps taken for this approval process are not recorded in this event log. OK, we can do the analysis again after you have extracted more detailed information about the approval process. It's amazing how new insights raise new questions.